not much left of this aircraft as you can see burnt to the ground but let's try figure out what happened in this ntsb final report pembroke florida may 12 2020 so here it is flying in there was two souls on board it was a flight instructor and the student and then here ntsb has the flight path and the speeds that the aircraft was flying at as it was coming in on this street so the flight instructor reported about 10 minutes into the instructional flight, the right engine lost power. The flight instructor took control of the aircraft and according to the radar, did a right 180 turn to the departure airport. It descended from 775 feet to 450 feet during the turn. The flight instructor stated that the right engine was windmilling while in the turn. Um, the flight instructor also stated that it was unable to maintain altitude as a result of the left engine not producing full power. So he attempted to land the airplane at a residential street. The airplane impacted power lines and then a road resulting in substantial damage to the fuselage wing and empennage this is the aircraft here it was a pa-34-200 a seneca november 887 sierra papo is the tail number firefighters are on scene they're trying to put this thing out as quickly as possible there was that one survivor but then sadly the pilot did not make it but you can see it hit that bank area real close to the road Post-accident examination of the aircraft and engines revealed no evidence of any mechanical malfunctions or failures that would preclude normal operation prior to the accident. Therefore, it could not be determined why the right engine lost power and why the left engine appeared to only produce partial power. It is likely the flight instructor's decision to do a 180 before securing the right engine resulted in a loss of altitude needed to make the right turn back to the airport um, at a safe altitude. My question to you pilots is what altitude or factors makes a pilot confident to make that 180 degree turn back to the airport because I feel like many times it's a fatal mistake. Here's the business of Wayman Aviation Academy. They seem to have a lot of pilots and student pilots that go through this system. And probable cause in finding NTSB determined the probable cause to be a loss of power to the right engine for reasons that could not be determined based on the available information. Contributing to the accident was the flight instructor's decision to turn 180 degrees before securing the right engine, which resulted in a loss of altitude and subsequent impact with power lines. And this is what it ended up looking like. The debris from this crash did hit somebody on the ground, but I guess they were okay. But again, sad for the families. And if you want to watch more NTSB reports, you can watch it here. If not, this is Arfadam Kioni. I'll see you guys next time.